Hey Dan, let's have a little talk about finances. So in each territory that you take over, you're able to see both the population, the tax rate, and the current statistics on how the population feels. Now we have these three territories, and right now they're being taxed at a rate of 30%, but as we increase that, you can see the amount of money that comes in every hour, and uh, I believe it's every hour. If you look in the top right, you'll see the new calendar, which has hours, days, and then, well, I don't know, years, or accumulated months, or some new metric system of timekeeping. And so, by adjusting our tax rate, we can increase the amount of funds that will come in each hour, which gives us more money to buy equipment, buy modifications, or research new technologies. But by raising the tax rate, we also run the risk of making people uh, upset with us. But uh, since everybody's very happy to start with, let's try raising the tax rate for a little while and see what happens. And now let's go into Eastern Europe. All right, this mission is called Raiders. It's assassination. An enemy syndicate has brainwashed a notable scientist who now works for them. He has improved their equipment a tremendous amount and is a serious asset. Unfortunately, they have inserted a small chip in his brain which detects the activity of the Persuadatron and blocks the signal making him immune to persuasion. He cannot be allowed to continue his research for the enemy, and so he must be eliminated. I should say, I've never quite known how to say Persuadatron. I don't know if you're meant to really hit that R there and call it the Persuadertron, or just sort of drop it and go Persuadatron. Well, anyways, let's accept that. All right, and since we've got the full team selected, why not take them all with us? So we'll just go through quickly. Make sure everyone's got a fully loaded shotgun. And sell off any extras. There we are. As well as a fully loaded pistol. And hit accept. Alright, so clicking on the center to get all of our agents selected together. And we'll start heading off in the direction of this ping. So you can see it's sort of south and west of us here. Let's have a look around, see if anything's coming up. Nope. There's a vehicle to the north we might be able to use, or it was just stopped there. Oh, seems like we have some incoming. I'll take out these couple of agents here. Good. And one coming in from this direction. Let them come around the corner. Getting from both sides now. That's alright. Uh, see, they're armed with Uzis, so I think they've got a bit of a range advantage on us, but... Uh, Hopefully we can just overwhelm them with numbers. There we are. Make sure to pick those up. Always good to get a little extra. Then you can always use them yourself. Oh, yeah, so accidentally uh, did something there. You'll see if you click on a location, all your agents will move there. If you click on that location again, when they're all clustered up, they will move apart, which can be helpful if you find yourself uh, targeted by enemy agents and needing to move out of an area quickly. Alright, and taking some of these, uh, this little side street here. Now one way that you can get into vehicles that are being piloted is that if you take a shot at them, just a single shot, usually the driver will stop and get out of the vehicle, uh, giving you an opportunity to seize it. And there are quite a few civilians on this map, and I believe that one of the ways that you can lose favor with the population to 
have their happiness uh, go down is actually to, uh, well, to shoot civilians while you're on missions. And you can see one of our agents decided to go around the back of the building there. All right, so we need to get into here. It seems like there's, uh... All right. Got a couple of targets there, guards. And inside should be our final target. Now we've got, can't quite see from the uh, building in the way, but you can use the, uh, you can use the scanner and then also just the uh, targeting reticle turning red to note where there is a target. Very good. And with this one, we don't actually need to uh, exit the map. We can just hit spacebar now to complete the mission. All right, having a quick look at these statistics. All right, so we took four agents in. We faced off against four enemy agents. And let's see, we did kill one civilian. I believe that was the target. And then those three guards there. It took us uh, two hours and two days. Very good. And so now we have control of Eastern Europe, and we can bump up those taxes as well. And we can have a little look around. Seems like everyone's still very happy with us. So it looks like Western Europe has gone down to happy, so maybe we'll drop their tax rate just a touch. Now, if people do get unhappy enough, they will rebel, and then you do have to uh, replay a mission to take over that territory again. All right, Dan. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.